Alright, what up everybody? This is Jason's World. Breaking news. Stone Cold might be possibly coming back to WrestleMania for one more match. Um, I will tell you how I feel at the end of this video, but right now let's let's hear what these guys are talking about the Stone Cold match and see what their thoughts is. At the end of this video, I will tell you my thoughts and my opinion. I mean, I will tell you a little bit right now. Stone Cold is a Billy Bass. He was the shit. He was the guy in the edge here. He run that shit. Come out, stun your crowd went crazy. The crowds today are good. But back in the data era, Stone Cold was that guy. I don't care how popular the rock is. Stone Cold was the man. Still is the man. Anyways, I'll tell you my opinion on the whole situation. And Kevin Owens being his opponent. Not my favorite chooser, but I will tell you my opinion at the end of the video. Let's see what these guys are saying first. Well guys, we have a breaking new story to reveal regarding WWE Hall of Famer Stone Cold Steve Austin, and more so an unbelievable rumor about Stone Cold Steve Austin possibly returning to WWE to wrestle a match at WrestleMania 38 this year, which as many of you can likely agree, is truly unexpected and shocking news to say the least, because it seemed like Stone Cold Steve Austin was more than content with remaining retired and was not interested in making a comeback. But as the old saying goes, never say never, and that definitely applies to WWE which can be truly unpredictable. According to one of our sources, Fightful Select, WWE are wanting Stone Cold Steve Austin to possibly wrestle a match at WrestleMania 38 this year. Although the report also goes on to mention that as of right now, while there is interest from WWE for the Stone Cold Steve Austin return match to happen, it isn't clear yet as to whether or not Steve Austin is wanting to wrestle another match in WWE, although more details will definitely be revealed in the coming days. Apparently, WWE are liking the sounds of a possible Kevin Owens vs. Stone Cold Steve Austin match at WrestleMania this year. Although, again, and like I'm not a big fan of Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens is pretty good. But, I mean, I'll be as a guy to go against Stone Cold. It's not just the height and the weight and all that. It's just when you got a mega star like Stone Cold going against somebody like that, you wouldn't expect it because Stone Cold is, like, on top of the list. And you're kind of like, hmm, don't know. But, you know, Stone Cold is Stone Cold. And they let him be Stone Cold with entertainment and stuff. And I don't mind it. But, like, as far as really choosing, Kevin Owens wouldn't be my choice. But... I mean, what's there left, you know what I mean? See what else these guys say. Not exactly known if this is a done deal yet, or if it's basically just discussions behind the scenes in WWE. Regardless, very shocking news to say the least, as a 57-year-old Stone Cold Steve Austin has not wrestled in WWE since 2003, which is nearly 20 years ago. And Austin did seem happy with his retirement and did not want to come back. And while some fans on social media have expressed a lot of excitement and interest, in a Stone Cold Steve Austin match at WrestleMania this year in Dallas, Texas, many also feel like this is overall a bad idea on WWE's part, especially for Stone Cold Steve Austin, with lots feeling like Austin's retirement all those years ago was a great and fitting send-off, and that Stone Cold should not potentially ruin it by coming back. And I kind of agree. I think when he retired, he left the business. I think that when he retired left the business, I really think that he, like when he left the business, I really think that he should have waited a couple more years from his retirement, like three years later, and come back and do another match or something. But to wait this long, you don't want to end up like, you see how Shawn Michaels and Goldberg, The Undertaker, all of them have came back, or especially Goldberg, and matches haven't been that good. Shawn Michaels hasn't been that good. And you would hate to see the guy that we were, that I'm used to watching, badass guy, Back in the day and until now, you would hate to see him struggle because then you know how social media is going to blast him. So, I mean, is it a good idea? Yes and no. If they do it right, maybe it will be right, but I don't know yet. All these years later, for a match that really should not be happening. Not to mention Stone Cold possibly risking serious injury if he was to wrestle again. A lot of fans point towards Shawn Michaels' return a couple of years back for the Saudi Crown Jewel pay-per-view event as a cautionary tale as to why Stone Cold Steve Austin should not return for another match. But at the end of the day, this return for Steve Austin may in fact come true. And let us know your thoughts on a potential Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Kevin Owens match for WrestleMania 38. And do you feel like this return should happen, or should Stone Cold remain retired? Let us know. 
All right, my opinion, I think Stone Cold should stay retired. I think that he needs to look at all the people who came into business, like like uh, Michael, like Shawn Michael, Triple H. You see how they're getting older. Shawn Michael didn't have a good match with Crown Jewel. You could tell he wasn't even in that. You could just tell it wasn't even that zone. Undertaker's had bad matches at Goldberg's example, and I really think Stone Cold might be in great shape and might do this. He might be in great shape and probably can wrestle, but he knows that once he gets in that ring, he started checking all the bumps. You don't know if he can hurt himself uh, real bad. So that's a difference, you know. So he's got to look at that. Yeah, because, you know, you haven't took that bump so many years, you might get back up. And, you know, it's about your well-being. But I think if, if WB pulls it off, obviously Kevin Owens wasn't be my first choice to wrestle. But because Stone Cold's a mega star, he would say, why was this badass mega star, the, bad, the biggest superstar in the world in WWE ever, against Kevin Owens, you know? But you think about it, Stone Cold, he probably wants an easy, soft match, so he probably wants to work with somebody like Kevin Owens because he doesn't want to have to go with a high-profile match probably and put on a great show. If Austin would go against Taker or The Rock or Roman, Stone Cold would have to put on a hell of a match if he was in those two. So you have to understand why they're probably making Kevin Owens fight Stone Cold. Stone Cold chose probably Kevin Owens, hey, I want to go against him because Stone Cold probably... Don't want to fight some high profile and have to live up to the expectations. So, I don't blame him on that. So, if people are blasting saying that, why are you fighting Kevin Owens? It's not worth your point. It's not the Derby. It's probably Stone Cold's choice. Like, he wants to go in there, show that he still got it, but go against a soft man. He don't want to have to put a high profile match in. I'm pretty sure majority of the match, I'm sure Stone Cold is going to get most of the the win and the punches. You know, he's going to make Stone, he's going to make Stone Cold look good and stuff like that. So it's probably his choice of choosing his opponent. Because if it's up to me, I'd like to see Stone Cold fight The Rock again, settle out one last time, or or Stone Cold fight The Undertaker one last time. You know, that would be my opinion. But anyways, um, in my opinion, I think Stone Cold should stay retired. If he does come back, at least let this man, if he comes back, let this man, a couple of weeks prior to WrestleMania, let Stone Cold come in there in full Stone Cold mode and do what we, what we grew up watching him do. Come in there saying all kinds of stuff, entertaining the show. If they would let him do that for at least a month and be Stone Cold and entertain and go to WrestleMania and fight Kevin Owens, it would be good. But I have an opinion that they're probably not going to do that. I'm sure they come to agreement. Stone Cold probably doesn't, probably isn't going to train and probably isn't going to go back to Raw. He's probably just going to go straight to WrestleMania and fight Kevin Owens. I have a feeling they're going to do that. That's the thing that sucks. But people blame WWE for that. But it's, it takes two agreements to agree. So to get him in there, he might probably don't want to be on Raw or, or wrestle or be there every month. He just probably wants to wrestle his opponent. And so they have to come to agreement. That's why everybody don't understand. You have to agree upon it. So I'm sure Vince said, well, I want you to come for this month. Stone Cold's like, I'm not going to do that. And then Vince probably said, look, you need to come on Raw, you need to promote it, and no. So, it's money talks, money talks. So, if Vince says, well, I'll give you this much money, I need you to show up for these many Raws, I'm sure money talks is going to take it, plus the bonus at WrestleMania. But it all depends, they have to come agree. But I really think the way WWE is and the way it works, I'm sure he's probably only going to show up probably maybe one or two Raws, and that's it, and then probably WrestleMania. Hell, he might even show up just to WrestleMania. That's the thing that triggers me, because when you got... Somebody as big as him going to come back when they don't show their face until that exact day. It kind of sucks, but it would be nice if it was going to happen and have Stone Cold show up every week up until WrestleMania. Full Stone Cold mode, I think it will be awesome. But I have a feeling it has, you have to reach an agreement. Okay, that's why I always say you have to reach an agreement between two people. Vince has to say, well, I want this and you want that. So that's kind of how it is. That's how the industry is. So in my opinion, and when if they come in agreement, I have a feeling that he may show up on Raw, the final Raw or Raw, or Raw before. But I wish he would come at least a month and be full Stone Cold mode. How how much different would be? Well, he hasn't been Stone Cold mode in a long time since 20 years. In my opinion, he should stay retired, enjoy yourself. If he's gonna go to WrestleMania, they should just have him at WrestleMania, do a little promos on the screen and fight. But it just sucks that. He probably won't come on Raw's leading up to WrestleMania. However they do it, I really feel that Stone Cold is just ready at WrestleMania and probably say, 
well, I'm going to be there. But anyways, my opinion, stay retired. You're doing good the way you are. But if you want that one send-off, fine. Anyways, my opinion, whatever WB thinks. But if you're going to go full mode, let him be him. But then again, it takes two of them to talk. Anyways, um, I hope that they do do this. Hopefully it's a good deal. Hopefully Stone Cold comes on Raw a couple of weeks full in that Stone Cold mode and start talking that noise and then come WrestleMania. If not, even if it's just WrestleMania, I mean, it is what it is. Anyways, what do you guys think? Comment below if you think Stone Cold should return and who should be his opponent. If it's a good idea, comment below. And anyways, who's your favorite WWE wrestler of all time? Comment that below as well. And also comment on what you think about the return. Is it a good idea or a bad idea? What do you guys think and who, and who should be his real opponent? Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Like this channel and subscribe.